Hey guys, welcome back to Pump It. Okay, so it is race three at uh, Railton, and today we did the practice run. Um, and I was lucky enough to be able to ride all five stages at least once. So I'm not going in tomorrow blind, um, but I have only ridden these trails once, which was today. And yeah, if I'm really honest, they are a little bit outside my comfort zone. Um, really loose and dry up there and very rocky. So uh, I don't know how I'm feeling about it. All right, guys, I'm going to go get some dinner. Um, re-watch some of the trails and then yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow for race day let's get straight into it stage one super hornet super hornet is a jump line and me not being the most confident jumper i squashed them hoping it would help with my time All right, guys, we're up to stage four, uh, seven shreds. I <laughs> had to look at that for a second. Um, okay, so I got to ride this stage yesterday. I've only ridden this stage once, so let's see how we go. Seven shreds runs for about 1.8 Ks. It's just full of rocks and dust, so I am gonna edit sections out, but I will still leave enough for you to have an idea of what this trail is all about. Pedal where you need to be. I lost a lot of time on this pinch climb. Trying to remember where all the little climb bits were on trails was a little difficult. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Stage five Nirvana was such a sick trail, but not knowing the lines very well made it a little difficult. But either way, I still had such a ball on this trail. me. What about that drop? <sighs> okay. Gotta remember these trails. <sighs>
Oh, shit. What about that corner? Okay. It's about to get, about to get tricky, Bill. I know. Ooh, that was bad. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. Now, there's some rock drops here by memory. Gonna choose the right line. Language warning with this last round. Stage six, Echidomy. Yesterday, took the wrong line. It's okay. Did so much better yesterday. It is what it is. Can't control that. Okay. All right. Make up a time, Bell. <laughs> Fell off. Oh. Okay. Make up a time. It's my third time racing and had an experience falling off on a race stage before it was a great learning curve for me. I didn't handle it well and my head got the best of me. I was so consumed that I'd just fallen off my bike that I wasn't focusing on the trail in front of me. You know, re-watching yourself can be difficult, but I've learned a lot from this experience and I feel I'll be able to handle it a lot better if it happens again. First, first feature set you up for the second and yeah I didn't hit the 
I didn't hit the second or the first. Oh well. Here's what it is. Bloody annoyed with myself. <sighs> yeah. All right, that was my experience at Wild Mersey. Um, as you can see, I didn't have the best of race runs, uh, but I did have a really good time. Um, really looking back at that footage and editing it uh, really has opened my eyes up on how I need to handle certain situations like falling off on a race trail. It's bound to happen. Um, I've just got to cope with it a bit better. Um, but yes, I ended up coming second. Like I did not expect to come second, uh, especially with that stack and then having to get off and run like the next feature. So I was really proud of myself for that. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't stay for podium because I had to drive back to Derby for work that afternoon and Wild Mersey to Derby uh, in the van was just under three hours. So. Anyways, I just want to say thank you so much for supporting me on my journey. Give this video, video a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And the next time I will see you will be at Medina. Alright guys, pump it!